365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Savala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you. Hello, friend. We're so glad that you're here today, May 4th, 2022. Today's devotional is titled, I Will Be With You. But first, let us have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, some of us come before you with broken hearts, sad spirits, because we feel alone. But help us to remember that you are with us, and if God be for us, who can be against us? As we hear today's devotional, help us find courage for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 23 and 24. And they say, Now, when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him, and suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. According to Mark's gospel, one day the Lord was teaching by the sea, but so many people had gathered around him that he had to board a boat that was at sea. Then he spoke to them in parables. How long did Jesus speak for? We do not know. But it must have been a long day because Mark himself writes that it was the day when the evening came that Jesus told his disciples to go over to the other side of the shore, according to Mark chapter 4, verse 35. We already know what happened soon after. A great tempest arose on the sea, and the small boat was struck by strong gusts of wind in the midst of a stormy sea that the boat was covered with the waves. The situation became so difficult that the disciples, although they were experienced fishermen, feared for their lives. In all of this, where was the Lord? Mark says that he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And when the terrified disciples awoke him, the simple account in the scriptures say that he arose and rebuked the wind and said to them, See? Peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. The story ends with astonished disciples asking each other, Who can this be, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Who can this be? Yes. Who is this person who expels demons, heals all kinds of diseases, and his voice subdues the powers of nature? Who is this who, overcome by tiredness, falls asleep, and then gets up and calms the storm? I will tell you who he is. He is Jesus, your wonderful Savior, the same one who, in order to save you, gave up his throne in heaven in exchange for the horrible death on a cross. And I am going to tell you something else. The story is not in the scriptures just so that today you can with admiration remember what happened that night on the Sea of Galilee. It was recorded so that you never forget that no matter how hard the storms of life strike you, you will always have the blessed Savior by your side. Is there a storm coming down on you right now? Are the waves around you so big that your little boat is about to sink? Is this what you are experiencing? Here is God's promise to you right now. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 As we meditate on today's devotional, let us close with a prayer. Thank you, Jesus, because you have promised to be with us every day until the end of the world. And thank you because with you by our side, there is no storm that can sink our boat. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for the devotional. We pray that it has been a blessing to you. May God's love embrace you and may you always remember that if God is with you, who can be against you? And he promises to be with you wherever you go. Have a blessed day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.